Uh, what brings you in my kitchen today, Norman Price? Nothing. I mean, I wanted to show you something. Something really cool. <laughs> you can't pull the wool over my eyes, Norman Price. I know exactly what you're up to. You do? Yes. I know how much you love carrots. What? <laughs> Stay away from that cooker. Out of my kitchen. Go on, out. Uh, out. But, I, no, I, I just... But, it, oh, uh, but, I, no, I... A chip up, a chip up, I love stew. A chip up, a pita cup, yes I do. A meat up, carrot up, chicken too. I gotta get my teeth in some How's the dinner coming along today? Nothing burnt, I trust? <laughs> I've just put the stew on to simmer. It should be ready in about an hour. Very good. Fire prevention is hungry work, you know. <gasps> I say! <gasps> Station up for the steel! Norman Price! Not stop right there, young man! Hmm. Not a bad little plane. Norman! Hello, Sam. How are you getting on with your paper aeroplanes? Terrible. Nobody else in Ponty Pandy even likes paper planes. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I think I panicked. Hungry. I know I am. I think my dad was right. Rita's not really a rescue dog. Come on. We better take him back to the station. <laughs> Flood. It sounds like we could need medical assistance. Okay, Sam.
Take it easy, Mike. We'll soon have you out of here. Be careful, Sam. Don't move him. We need to immobilise him in case he's injured his back. I brought the stair chair to lift him out, Sam. We can't use the stair chair, Elvis. There aren't any stairs anymore. We'll need the stretcher. Great, uh, stretcher. Easy does it now. the fire you saw, Dillis? There! Over there! I saw the bright orange flames glowing through the trees. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ma'am, that's the sunset. Norman Price, if you hadn't been telling your mother so many scary stories, this never would have happened. If you're going to carry on like this, we might as well go home right now. Sorry, Trevor. Sorry, ma'am. I, I promise not to tell any more stories. Well, we better call back and tell the fire brigade it was a false alarm. <laughs> what? A false alarm? Uh, stand down, men. And woman. False alarm, men, no harm. Repeat, stand down, men. It's a false alarm, Elvis. We'd better go back. There's the fire. I better phone Sam and let him know. Hello? Hello, Sam. I've located the fire. You better get up here. Uh, we're on our way. You tell Station Officer Steele what's happened. Norman Price, what did I tell you about making up all these scary stories? No, I, I'm not making it up. It's true. Come and look. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. We should never have left the campfire unattended. Falling about, you need to get back to the wild where you belong. Shoo! <laughs> you must have been feeding it too well, Tom. Shoo! <laughs> Leaping wallabies, not again! <laughs> that bird really likes it here, Tom. Uh, Mountain rescue's not just for people, you know. <laughs> help! 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 It's no use, Mandy. Nobody can hear you way out here. What about Charlie? He's too far away, Mandy. There's no way he can hear you. And who's that with him? Oh, no! Emergency. Which service do you require? Oh, uh, 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 Fireman Sam, please! Woman Price, 
trapped on the cliffs. Uh, this sounds like a job for mountain rescue. I'll take the chopper, Sam. See you there. in the lobster pot. I, I can't get up. Oh, dear. I'll dive down and take a look. You must have been going pretty fast when you hit that rock, Charlie. I know. I was trying to be a hero. Sarah, as usual. I am not. Oh. oh, it's no 
good, Norman. We've lost him. Lost who? Shanta. See? I told you I saw him. Never mind, Norman. We've already put up more lights than anybody in Pontypandy ever before. But, Mum, haven't we got another giant Santa? No, Norman, that was the last one. Couldn't you order one? Not a week before Christmas, I couldn't. He would never get here in time. You could tell them it was an emergency. Oh! Help! Emergency! Not like that, Mum. Don't be daft. Overboard in the bay? Great, Sam! What's up? Another message has come in. There's a man overboard in the bay. Send Penny to man the lifeboat, sir. R -r 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 right fast, Sam! Penny! I'm already on it, sir. Many plugs in one of these old adapters. That's what the problem was. Elvis is right, Dillis. Those old adapters are very dangerous. You must be careful not to overload your sockets. Over here. Look at this. I found some. We saw these first. I am a muscle picking machine. I found lots here. Hey, leave some for me. But you've already got loads. We're working together. <laughs> Find a better place with lots of muscles before the twins kick them all. You know, Elvis, the jaws of life are a great piece of rescue equipment, but they can't be used for every emergency. I know. Come on, Norman. Pull! Oh. It's wet! And getting wetter. The tide's coming in. We've got to get you out of here. Pull, Norman! I am, I am! But I'm stuck! But I can't leave you here. What are we going to do? Somebody's stuck amongst rocks on the beach. The beach, Sam. Somebody's stuck. Where you can, the tide's coming in. Better bring the jaws of life, Elvis, just in case. Yes! Wedged in tight, Sam. I tried everything. Haven't tried everything. That's right, Elvis. There's one more thing we should try. Can you reach down to untie your laces, Norman? Um, I think so. Yes! Uh, thank you, Fireman Sam. Oh, I wish I'd thought of that. Wait a minute. 
Where's my lucky bucket? Where did you put it, Norman? Oh, it's gone. Bad luck, Norman. It must have floated away. Come on. We'd better head back before the tide cuts us off. Wait. What about my shoe? Never fear. Cridlington's here. <laughs> Saved my shoe. That's what the jaws of life are for. Oh, you poor thing. You're soaked. Just let me take off my wet jumper and I'll get a towel to dry you off. There we go. Come on, baby. We'll be warm again soon. I've given it all a good clean and it's working again, but I think you need to service it a little more often. Sure, it's all right, Mike. It's giving off a burning smell or something, isn't it? Oh, oh, yeah, you're, you're right, Bromwyn. I, I hadn't noticed that before. Ah! OK, everyone, don't panic. Keep calm. Keep calm? How can I keep calm? It's a fire! T try chanting, Mike. Just say, I'm keeping calm, I'm keeping calm, I'm keeping Never mind chanting. Move outside to safety and someone call Fireman Sam. He's been jogging all day, Sam. I saw him too. Oh, well, he's not jogging now. <laughs> Shh, Elvis. Poor thing. He's exhausted. He sure had you two fooled, jogging all day, honestly. <laughs> Heater on fire at the fish shop. Washing machine, Dillis. You must have overloaded it. It wasn't me. It was Norman. Now you know why I never ask him to do anything. <laughs> yeah, see you, Dillis. Hello. Hi, Mike. Norman. Oh, what now? I did the washing. No, you broke the washing machine. Oh. So now, you need to ask Mike very nicely if you can wash our dirty clothes in his machine. What? But... Uh, oh. Have fun, Norman. I wonder if Sarah and James want to go skateboarding. You know, Norman, I don't much like housework either. But if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Oh, 
Why do emergencies always happen when you don't want them to? Fire at the flood house, Sam! Many hate me as well! My fault. I, I went out and left the iron on. Well, we could all afford to be more careful, whatever job we might be doing. We will, Bronwyn. Mountain rescue is not just for people, you know. There they are, Penny. Hi, Tom. Can we set up a winch so you can lower me down? No worries, mate. OK, Tom. Red is what I said. Oh, there's Bronwyn. Oh, he thinks I'm just being friendly. I need to let him know we're in danger. I can't believe I forgot my phone. Red is for danger. <laughs> Red is for... <gasps> Brilliant! Red. 
Red is for danger. Red is for danger. Something's wrong. To ring emergency services. Ooh, no! Bronwyn in trouble! Better phone Mountain Rescue! No worries, mate. Uh, I mean, sir, I'll find them. Anybody answering their phones today? Hello? <laughs> Nipper brought me. Nipper! What a clever boy. You're going to be fine. We need to get you to a hospital to have this leg x-ray. Tom, we're going to need a stretcher down here. What do you want, Sam? Meet you at the hospital. of Lion. He wasn't in the shed, I'm sure of it. Ooh, oh, well done, Sam. Yes. That's lucky. Oh, thank goodness. I want to go home now to see if Lion's turned up. I'll give you a lift. Oh, but we haven't seen all the fireworks yet. I think we've had enough fireworks for one night. Me too. Next time we're going to a proper display. It's much safer. We haven't put out a fire that big for a long time. So long, I nearly forgot how to do it. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear it, Elvis? Well, I never. It's Lion! I 
wanted another ride in the fire engine, didn't you, Lion? Right. Penny and missing on Ponty Panty Mountain. Sam, take radar with you. Yes, sir. Come on, radar. Oh, and call Mountain Rescue, sir. Ask Tom to meet me at the Flood's house in the 4x4. Ready, ho! <laughs> we need to organize a search party. If we give Radar some clues to sniff, he might pick up their trail. Whereabouts on Ponty Panty Mountain were they going, Mike? Uh, sorry, Tom. I, I keep racking me brains, but I just can't remember. Um... Oh, now, that looks like Helen's. Here you go, Radar. Find Helen. Is that why, Sam? I know. Where is he taking us? It wasn't me! <laughs> Hello, Rita. What are you doing here? We're searching for Penny and your mum, Mandy. Radar took one sniff of your mother's blouse and led us straight here. That's not a blouse. That's a dress and it's mine. Oh, I can't believe you gave Radar the wrong clothes to sniff, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't remember whose was whose. This is definitely Mum's. Wait! I remember. I remember where Helen said they were going. The well path and over tall hill.